My name is Kathy Gibson and I'm the curator of Brown Square and it's been my privilege and honor to work with these four artists, Babette Hirschberger, Charlie Parkhill, Edgar Sanchez Cumbas, and Kinder Flora. Here we have a piece by Charlie Parkhill. It's called Bridge and it's obviously little pieces of wood and it can look sort of like a suspension bridge. I think it looks has sort of a figurative or animal sort of feeling to it when you put it in certain ways. Other pieces by Charlie Parkville is this chair, which is called Honeymoon. And if you can see it, it's two chairs that share the same seat. And as you walk up to it, you notice that the seat is actually loosened or heading down. So not sure how that interprets, but I just really have always liked the piece a lot. And this piece is called Jeff's Answer. It's, it's actually uh, sold of uh, the, the opening day, which is exciting. And this is obviously just, uh, I don't know what the title means, Jeff's answer. Charlie doesn't always explain his titles, and he certainly doesn't have to. And so I just like the flow of it and the shadowing that happened. And I knew right away that I did want to put it on a shelf. I didn't want it on the floor because I liked the shape and the curve. And I just wanted to see it that way. And there's a small little wheel here at the end, too. Other, two other pieces all the way down here at the uh, entrance. Um, it's called Click Clack. And it's uh, reminding me of, I don't think people have these anymore, but wallets that you would open and brrr, you'd see the family pictures kind of scroll down. And so, again, it, it translated to me as, you know, hard or edged or rectangular and actually two sets of square shape. A lot of Charlie's pieces, at least for me, are either masculine or feminine, and I don't mean any assignment that way. It's more just the stereotype of a smooth or a or an edge, and so sometimes I end up placing these things opposite each other, just to have a little more contrast. I really like contrast, but I also really like a connection pieces can have together. Round square also alludes to round, a um, square peg in a round hole, so something that's a kind of a contradiction. It doesn't actually fit, and so a lot of these pieces, if you were to see them individually or you were to meet these artists individually, you wouldn't necessarily put them together. But when you bring them together in this room and you start watching some of the connections between their pieces, whether that's scale or color or obvious, like we just pointed out with the bridge piece and the little piece of Bebex, round square then does have a relationship and it is related. And so it's sort of stuck as the title and then this was added later, conversations at large, meaning the relationships and conversations that happen across the room, next to each other, as you look at different angles through the show, there's a relationship. Ground Square will be on exhibit at Florida Crafts Art Exhibition Gallery through April 22nd.